Hello everybody and welcome back. This is an application on the sine and the cosine of those. We have an example that says if we have a triangle ABC and we have half sine A equal third sine B equal um, quarter sine C, we want to calculate the measure of angle C. So we are going to work with this given here and uh, it seems that we are going to use the sine law. This can be written in the form of a ratio because we are going to sub uh, multiply the sine with the 1 here. So it can be written like this. Sine A over 2 equals sine B over 3 equals sine C over 4. Because in each part here, the sine is multiplied by this fraction, so the 1 is useless here. So we write it directly sine A over 2, sine B over 3, and sine C over 4. It looks like uh, the sine law as a sine law equals a over sine a b over sine b and c over sine c but it's flipped here well it's, it's no matter because if we have a fraction like this half equals 2 over 4 here the ratios are equal if we flip both fractions we will get 4 over 2 equals 2 over 1 and the ratio between the uh, two fractions is equal it's not half but they are equal so the equal sign here is still working so if we flip the fractions it doesn't matter. So we can write this as 2 over sine A equals 3 over sine B equals 4 over sine C. From this we'll get the ratio between A, B and C which will equal 2 to 3 to 4. Um, now we, we know the ratio between A, B, and C. Then we will use the cosine law in order to um, get or calculate measure angle C. But we can substitute directly with the values here because these values here are just ratios. They are not actual measures so that this is not 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 2 meters this way they are just ratios so to write A equals B equals and C equals we multiply each of these by a constant as if we were obtaining their actual measures so as if we have a ratio here and we want to get um, the length of A, B and C and the um, uh, for example, the value of one unit is 2, then A will be 4 cm, B will be 12 cm, and C will be 60. So the length of the three sides depends on the same constant. So we will say that A equals 2x, B equals 3x, and C equals 4x, as we do not as we do not know this um, consonant. Then we have the cosine low, cosine C, which will equal the two opposite sides from C R A squared positive B squared. Then we get the side um, opposite to the C with a negative sign. Then we have here 2AB 
B. So this will equal a squared, we have 2x. So it will be 4x squared positive b squared, which will be 9x squared negative c squared, which will be 16x squared over 2 by a, which is 2x, by b, which is 3x. Um, so we get 13x squared, negative 16x squared, to get negative 3x squared over 4 by 3, 12 x squared, to get, so uh, the both x squared will be cancelled together, to get finally negative quarter. On the calculator, if you press shift cosine to let it appear for you like this, cosine of power negative 1 with a bra open bracket and enter negative 1 over 4, you will get the uh, measure of angle C which is approximately uh, 104 degrees 28 minutes 39 seconds and this is how we got measure angle C we used both the sine low and the cosine low in order to get the measure of this angle and this is it for today until the next time and thank you for watching and see you next time